Bob and I have been friends for over 40 years. We were classmates in law school. We've been law partners. We've been in business together, and I've watched his uh, career over the decades. So I can't think of a better selection for the Junior Achievement uh, Business Hall of Fame. Smart, high integrity, collaborative, team player, supports his people, cares about his customers. He's a big kid at heart, I would tell you that. I think he wants to give not only to his kids and his grandchildren, but he wants to give everybody the same opportunities that he had growing up. And I think that's what Junior Achievement gives him that opportunity. Bob is a great example of a kid from a modest background in Maine who took the initiative, got a great education, left the state, had a variety of experiences. He went in the Navy, I don't know if you know that, and was a, was a, 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 a jet pilot. And came back here to law school, to law practice, to business, to, to build his family here, to make a difference in the community here, including at the state level, working for the governor at the time and ultimately to help build the Dead River Company. What a wonderful story for kids to learn from. Absolutely. Bob, I think, is all about the next generation. I think his core values drive him to a point where he, he looks for those that are, the, that are the most at risk or the neediest in the community, and he goes there. He goes out a lot. Not as much as probably he'd like to, but he goes out a lot and visits sites, and I bet most of the employees have met him. He approaches everybody with the same uh, degree of respect and interest, regardless of whatever accomplishments are, or uh, path that they've taken. One of the things that I learned that I didn't know about Bob is that Bob responds to every letter, email, or phone call that comes into the president of the company. Responds personally. It is an action that encourages others in the organization to take note and say, that's how we should treat our customers. We should go the extra step. We should reach out personally and we should do what needs to be done. Because Bob understands that uh, for businesses to be successful, the communities in which they operate have to also uh, be successful. And I think it's that kind of broad approach at looking at how do you take care of your customers and how do you understand that you have to take care of those customers in the community in which, in which you do business that uh, has really distinguished his leadership at, at Dead River and uh, really uh, taken the company to the level that it's, uh, that it's at today. One of the most wonderful things about Bob is his humanity. You know, he's a, a very uh, caring person. Bob Moore himself personally and the Dead River Company made, made a significant commitment to the Boys and Girls Club this last year to help grow its ability to serve more kids and serve them better. A Good Shepherd Food Bank, where he's been very active uh, and is really uh, a great uh, admirer of, of Good Shepherd. Last year he was uh, recognized by the Boy Scouts as the Distinguished Citizen of the Year. Bob has an orientation around the next generation that is very deep. In my opinion, Bob's, Bob is the face of, of Junior Achievement. He is, his, his, his belief and his, and his uh, investment of time and treasure has always been towards uh, the, the improvement and the aspirations of youth. Bob, congratulations on being selected for the Junior Achievement Business Hall of Fame. Well deserved, congratulations to you and uh, congratulations to Junior Achievement.